Hey, howdy. Today's adventure, and it, believe me, it's an adventure. We're doing a comparison between plug-on breaker style surge protectors and hardwired ones. We'll say both type two, but of course, I'm, I'm living the dream. I didn't get the parts, so we're going on a road trip. We're going to Plano Home Depot and see if we can find our uh, QO plug-on surge protector there. I want to use QO because that's what my sub panel is, and then we're going to go. So come along. By the way, don't forget, we are so close to 10,000 subscribers. I mean, right there at the edge. So if you've been thinking about, hey, this old guy in the garage, I'll know. Dude, stop thinking. Subscribe. Just do it. Just do it. Let's get that 10K or do a big celebration. I don't know what, but it's probably going to be in Home Depot because it makes people uncomfortable. See you soon. Hey, howdy, James Adams with ABR Electric. We're here at Home Depot in Plano, Texas, and I'm trying to find a plug-on surge protector because we're doing eventually a hands-on and the difference between a plug-on surge protector and a hardwired surge protector. So we got plenty of hardwired, but we're looking for a QO style plug-on and we don't got them. So we're gonna have to get on the phone and talk to Dealers Electric in Plano because they're a QO they're a QO carrier. So we'll talk to them right now. There you go. You want a bag or are you good? Good. So we survived and we're back from Dealers Electric with our uh, QO 2175SB, for those of you who are wondering. And this is the plug in surge protector. So, one of those things, even though it's easy to install because you snap it in and hook this up to the neutral bus, there's still some requirements. So as usual, I'm going to recommend that you read. And if you want to zoom on in here, come on in, Paul. Where you're going to be is right here, Article 242, over voltage protection. And really the requirements are this. It has to be listed. If you guys look right here, we've got this listing. And you think, well, of course, everything has a listing. No, if you go on to Amazon, there's quite a few that don't have the UL. They're just cheap. Uh, short circuit rating should be at least what your panel is, which is the SCCR, SCCR rating. So if you look at this one, our SCCR is 100,000 amps. Uh, most of your residential panels are only going to be 10,000 amps uh, surge protection. So that's golden. Should be indicating. Can we actually see that? The reason I say that is because a lot of these are indicating, but they get put inside the panel. There's no way for anybody to know what's going on. You don't know if it's working or not. Not worried about this. Again, Article 242. We have Type 1, which is we're going to see in a second. It was tapped in there with the PSP that we did. Type 2 has a breaker. Um, type 3 is going to be like a surge protection device, like a plug strip. And Type 4 is built in. Sometimes we have that with electric vehicles. They have built-in surge protection actually into the vehicle. So, last thing, if you can get in here, this is some fine print. I barely read this. So here, I decided to read the instructions instead of, I'm a master electrician. I don't need to read the instructions. Well, I was wrong. Um, the biggest here things here were, of course, it needs two spaces. They recommend that it be installed as close as possible to the main circuit breaker or main lugs as possible. And then you're hooking up the white wire to the neutral bar. And there you go. So Article 242, read the instructions. Don't be afraid. There aren't a lot of big words, and I feel confident. And there's a cool picture. Here, you guys see this picture? There's a picture. Love pictures. So let's install this thing. So you all come on over. And let's take a look again. This is my QO panel. A quick review, if you want to come in closer, Paul. This is my Type 1 uh, surge protector. And this is the Vortex, and we've talked about the specs. But you look, the two wires, and it's UL listed to be tapped here at the main lugs. All right, and they're doing great. I was looking at our crimp connections. There's no heating. That's a great sign. Okay, so now I've got this spot empty to put right next to the main lugs. I'm going to hook up 
Let's put this right here. I've already shortened this wire. The instructions, even in the code, it says to make these wires as short as possible with as few bends as possible. So let's make sure we're onto the bus with this clip. We are. There we go. Okay. 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 And then again, we have torque values. I have an old man torque wrench. It's called my wrist. You can get after me in the comments if you want. But there you go. It's indicating. And we put the dead front back on. It'll be obvious. It says right here, green light means it's okay. If the light's out, it means you need to change it. So if you looked at the instructions, as a three-year warranty. So again, the biggest advantage of this is simplicity. Um, this is super easy to install. Okay. This requires a lot more effort. Same with a lot of these that are type twos. We would have had either a two pole 20 here or a two pole 50. Um, and we would have had to have wires hooked up to the surge protector, neutral wire, and then a ground wire. So that's not bad. But if you're looking for just basic protection and you want something that's easy to do, you can shut off the power, plug this in, land your neutral on your neutral bus, and bada bing, you're done. And you walk away happy. Okay? So last thing is FS140. Last I heard, they're not producing it anymore. But lo and behold, I go onto Amazon, and there's something that looks like an FS140. So I looked at that. It's not. It's a replace. They call it, quote, unquote, a replacement for an FS140. But if you look close at it, there's no UL sticker. And it's not made by Siemens. It's made somewhere overseas, and it's like 95 bucks. And it claims to have the same uh, specs or values, but it's not. It's not an FS140. So if I was you, if you're going basic, you'd go with some version of this that snaps into your panel if you're not worried, or go with something like this that's a, a Vortex, an Eaton Ultra, any of those that have the higher surge values. And if you're interested, we've done another video on this that you can look at uh, for a lot of details. And I think one of these we actually broke open and found alien technology. That's right. Well, it was alien to me. So there you go. So I want to know what your guys are. If you would tell me, what is your favorite type of breaker style SPD? Everybody's got one. Um, and there's a whole bunch. Um, also, look at that code article, Article 242. That's the rules. That's the code. Again, just because it fits doesn't mean it should ship. Till the next time, look forward to your comments. Take care.